the channel. Today's video, we're going to drop down and pick up some two of our steers and bring them back here. One of them is heading to a new home and we don't want to leave them in a field by themselves. So come along as we go pick up Leroy and Penny's baby. easier than what I thought. Alrighty, Jazz made that super easy for us to do there. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on notification bells so that you can see more content like this as we post our videos and you don't miss one. Um, if you'd like to see more dog videos, drop a comment below and let us know. If you want to see more cow videos, let us know. So apparently I locked myself in here. So I'm gonna have to have trade you here, Sophia. Let me hold the camera. Can you pull down on this? Okay. We're gonna see. Leroy, back up. Hmm. No. Okay, trade me back. Yeah. 
I need you to pull down on this. I locked, I got the rope in the bottom. It's jammed. Ready, set, go. Okay, hold the gate real quick. Can you? I'm gonna circle Leroy and tie him up so he doesn't get out right now. Okay. All right, so there's that guy. He's actually half Jersey. So this guy has an orange weaning ring on him. He is weaned, but he's here with his mom. Makes for a less stressful weaning. Some people kind of freak out, but it does make for a quieter life on the farm. Whenever they are able to hang out with mom, some people do fence line weaning. So that is Gator and that's his mom there with the 48 inch horns, black and white cow. This is Leroy. Let me just check his long horns. We need to get a tape on his horns to see how long they are. And um, but we like this brindle color coming across. He is actually a reserve champion at California State Fair. Reserve steer at California State Fair. Uh, his sister was grand champion heifer. His other sister was reserve grand champion junior heifer for a longhorn. Before we go put Leroy in his pin, we're gonna measure his horns here to get an idea of what, how long they are. Straight across tip to tip, we're at 46 inches. Right at 46 inches there. For his horns, he is coming three years old, two and a half years old. So we are excited about that. We like them with the horns. Some people are scared of the horns. We like them with the horns. We just teach them to respect their horns and respect us with their horns. And accidents still happen, of course. We try to be aware of where their horns are at all times. Okay, look on the ground before you bust it. It's like right where your tires are. So here's an old, I was told an old Indian hack, an Indian hack for cleaning water troughs instead of using your nice scrub brushes or your horse brushes as I have done in the past. Just grab some hay and use it to scrub and then you just throw it on the ground. Nature scrub brush. Rinse it out and you're good to go. To keep them from messing on hay and mess it all up, 
I cut tires, cut the top ring out. You can often get these at tire shops for free because they have to pay to recycle them. And when you feed, it keeps the hay in one spot, keeps the cows off of it so they don't mess with it. Also works for horses. about to see why we keep our cows down by the road. We don't know where they're going. I do this with my young horses too, to teach them to be calm. If they hang out down by the road, especially on trash day, uh, you'll see the trash truck come by. Well, you probably won't in this video, but it comes by and picks it up and just teaches them to be a lot calmer. He'll be down here for a few days. We'll probably add a cow in this pin next to him as a companion, so he's not by himself, but He'll be going to a new home and he'll be exposed to all of the road traffic. We have diesels that park down here. Uh, some of our neighbors drive diesel. So he'll be exposed to large diesels. The trash truck coming by later today is pickup day. So he'll be coming, they'll be coming by and he'll be exposed to that as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos, you can click this link and see our latest, some of our other videos. Don't forget to turn on notifications, hit the thumbs up button and drop a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can see more content. In the comments, let us know if you'd like to see more dog working videos. If you'd like to see some along the lines of dog training, we're no experts, but we can show you videos of what we do and let people who do video critique it and you learn from the comments. If you'd like to see more miniature cows, then comment below what you would like to see. If you'd like to see more how-to videos or you have a question about miniature cows, what to do, what not to do, how they're different from uh, regular cows, different things of that nature, then you can put that in the comments below as well and you can see more content like this. Have a great day.